Hi everyone, Dr. Larson here. I wanted to um, show you another video on, of another patient of mine. This is Luke, he just got his braces off and we're gonna work on some other stuff with him. But as I was testing him, he has a plastic retainer on the top, so an orthodontic retainer. Um, and I wanna show what that does to the body. Now I'm not here to say all orthodontics are bad, I'm not trying to bash that by any means, but we need to have awareness of what's actually happening um, and that's why I'm making the video here, so. All right, so push this leg out to the side. So he doesn't, he can't even hardly, put. you pushing hard, right? He's pushing hard, he can't do that. Push out here, can't do that. Hold both legs that way, I'm gonna pull towards me. That's a lower back muscle, he can't hold that one very well at all. And this way. That one either. You can see him kind of ratchet a little bit. Let's do um, the adductors. So pull this leg that way. I'm going to pull towards me. So this, this leg that way. Yep. So he can't hold that. Hold that one that way. He can't hold that. A few more here. Push this up. I'm going to push down right here. Yep. There's a quadricep. Very strong muscle. He can't do that. But interestingly, hold tight to your side. He can hold the arms, no problem. Push out. So his upper body is just fine. Now take that out. Here, hold that over here real quick. I, I won't touch it, but just hold it. All right. I don't know, it's kind of... That's all it is, right? A plastic retainer? Good. So again, he's got that out. He does not have a wire in in the bottom. He has nothing there, so he's supposed to wear that one for four weeks, 24-7, and the one on the bottom, on the bottom teeth, the same type plastic one, uh, just at night. And then that one after four weeks, just at night. So hold tight to your side. Again, he's still strong here. But what happens, push out to the side, is he gets instant strength in his lower body. Pull across that way. <clears throat> you were kind of up. Hold that way again. Good. Hold that way. You can see I can pull quite a bit harder. That's a very, very strong muscle, that low back. Quadricep, pull. There you go. Push up. And you can see him kick into me right away. It's very easy for him. Push that way. Now he's got actually an adductor that works. Hold the cross. So it's just something to be aware of. Again, it's not that orthodontics are bad, the braces are bad, we want good straight teeth, but we do have to be aware of what's happening and the other potential consequences of having these things in. Hey, I'm back real quick. I didn't get a chance to go through my model on that uh, uh, video. I wanted to show you why that's occurring. So if you haven't seen the other videos where I talk about the skull uh, and you just happen upon this one for whatever reason, I want to show you why. These skull bones have to move, all right? This is, a, this is a hydrodynamic system, a hydraulic system is how your um, brain works inside of this cranial mechanism. It is so critical for life for these bones to move. They all have a, a different pattern to them, okay? Which I won't go into. But these two yellow bones right here, okay? Uh, one and two, okay? Those are two different bones. So if you put something across the teeth right there and you lock that in, you are now locking those two bones together. And you can see in the bottom, there's a crack in between uh, those two bones. If you put something across here, you are locking those bones together. You are locking this mechanism. Again, this is a hydraulic system. So it, it, it runs off a cerebro uh, cerebrospinal fluid. There's pressure gradients. There's all kinds of things happening in here. Again, I'm not here to debate orthodontics or anything like that, braces, whatnot. My kids have had braces as well. I do believe there's probably other alternatives that are, that are coming out. Some of you may comment on these below. I'm well aware of them. Um, but the goal and the purpose of making this video is so that you understand what could be happening when you put a wire retainer in, when you have these plastic retainers in, what could be happening to your body. I have case after case after case. Some of them really serious. Some of them are people who are looking for uh, looking at potential surgeries and just by removing that that uh, dental retainer they 
perfectly fine by the next day. So this is a big deal. We do have to pay attention to it. Um, again, it's not a bash on the orthodontic profession whatsoever. It's just bringing an awareness of what might be happening, especially in the kids, because more kids have um, braces than adults, but again, a lot of adults are now as well. So just wanted to run through that quick so that you knew what was happening and how something up here could affect the lower body way down there. Again, it's a, hyd it's a hydraulic system and it's tied in with the spinal cord, which is tied in with the pelvis. What's tied into the pelvis? Low back muscles, um, you know, knee muscles, adductors, abductors, all these different muscles are all tied into that whole thing. So it's not a far stretch to think, oh, something up here could affect something down here. So I just wanted to run through that. Hope you learned something on the video. Uh, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.